We don't keep any inventory. Everything we do is cut on the demand. In a small, nondescript showroom in Hong Kong, Sarah Chessis, the founder of a boutique brand called Isabella Wren, is trying to upend the model for how business women buy their clothing. They felt that there was a, a gap in the market for premium women's workwear that could be accessed very easily. By accessed easily, she means custom clothing without a single visit to the tailor. If you can go inside the booth and take your clothes off. I'm not exactly the target customer, but to understand how her concept works, I did what I was told. Ready. Measuring begins in three, two, one. There you go, Jason. There we go. Done. There's a mis this thing's it's not accurate. My butt is not that flat. It's it's much it's really not. No. Customers whose body measurements are in Isabella Wren's system can then pick a design, customize, and order it. Do I get to see myself in the dress? You know, okay. people don't generally like their own images. So, oh, I see. So, so it doesn't don't. help for no. sales for no. people to actually see themselves. No, it doesn't Gotcha. Yeah. So, no, the avatars don't get to try on the merchandise, which is good news for me. Once a customer places an order, the system generates a pattern, which gets printed out in a workshop in Shenzhen, China. There, the fabric is cut by hand. Chessa says she's planning to have a laser cutter do this part soon. And then a sewer does the assembly. So if we have eight sewers, we can do right now eight dresses a day. Eight dresses a day. It takes a sewer a One full sewer. day. Yeah. One limiting factor to her business, not too many potential customers have digital files of their exact body measurements. But she thinks soon that will change. And so apparently does Jeff Bezos. Last year, Amazon filed a patent for a system that would allow customers to design their own garments, which would then be made to order using a fully automated manufacturing process. So, you know, one of the byproducts of e-commerce is there's a problem with returns. And there's people looking at ways to minimalize things coming back. So size has been a big focus. Ren is focused on staying on the cutting edge of tech to produce custom clothing even more quickly and at lower price points. I think we're going through an extraordinary time in uh, like a golden age in the manufacturing technology where, you know, we'll look back and say, oh, do you remember when we used to just settle? Do you remember when you didn't like the sleeve and you just took it anyway? You know, when we'll look back and say, do you remember? Because going forward, you won't have to.